in the last video i showed you how i had made the locomotive pratik as well as wdg41201 the last video wasn't much detailed as compared to previous 12s but it was made out of all the things that we have learned in those videos this will be the last video on wdg4 variants and i request and recommend you to watch it till the end as i have a surprise for you at the end this video is all about rendering we will see here how to get life like images from the models we have made so this is our locomotive pratik on whom we will be doing the rendering so why do we need rendering you can see that there appear so many lines on this model but do you see any such line on the real locomotive obviously no so to begin rendering you have to activate the photo view add in by clicking this setting icon make sure startup column box is also checked so that you don't need to do it next time you open solid works activate the render tools tab when you click the preview window you get a window showing you preview how your model will look when rendered you can adjust your model in the background while keeping this window on in the options menu you can adjust the dimension as well as the quality and the type of the image rendering plays an important role when it's related to presentation you can play with the setting so that you come to know what changes happens Once you are okay with the preview, you can press the final render button. Now, depending on your setting and the ability of your computer, rendering will take the respective time. Once done, press save image button to save this as an image file. Now you may see that the logo looks as same as real. Though it's way too shiny now, we will be covering that part while in the EMU model rendering videos. So that's my image file saved. The background is default, the camera is default, the lights are default. Camera will be covered in the web 7 rendering videos. Hey guys, that's me Solo Rao, the voice behind all these videos. So we have finished all the videos related to WDG4 locomotive modeling. I think the title reads as as 01E14. So this is the last video for the series on the EMD locomotives. And yes, as I have promised, the next video series would be on the WAP7 assembly, modeling, simulation, and rendering. But before we begin the next series, there will be a short break. In that break, I will be uploading other videos like unboxing, reviews, kind of stuff, which I had kept pending to complete this first series. And yes, if I go successful in importing these models into MSTS, I will be uploading a tutorial on that too. Don't worry, the break won't be any long. I always look forward to answer and reply to all the queries and questions you ask. So feel free and ask whatever you want related to this model. So subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more fun. See you soon.